Hi folks, so the topic we have today guys is based on triangles and specifically triangle constructions, okay? Often in an exam you'll be given a question where you're asked to construct a triangle, uh, maybe ABC, with the side lengths of varying degrees, okay, or varying lengths I should say, okay? So today we're going to be practicing that and we've got four examples here prepared, okay, with different side lengths for each one. So starting off guys, we want to do this one up here on the top left and it says construct a triangle essentially uh, ABC that has side lengths of 110, 70 and 80. So straight off there guys, what I would usually identify is the biggest one, okay? And in this case, our biggest measurement there is 110. So that's what I'm going to start off with. And I'm going to create a baseline that is 110 millimeters long. So doing that there now, it's going to use my T squared to help me doing that. So 15, 26, there to there. That there, guys, is 110 long, so that's, I'm going to call that part AB, okay, and that's 110 millimeters. So straight away I can tick off that one, I have the baseline done. And now what I have to do is I have to construct two side lengths of 70 and 80, respectively, and find a point C up here. So to be able to do that, it's very simple, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, using my compass, I'm going to start off with the 80 one. And setting 80 on my compass, just like that there. I'll take 80 and I'll do it from B in this case. And swing an arc from B that has an arc length or a radius of 80 millimeters. So that arc there is 80 millimeters away from B. No matter where I put, I go along the arc, from there, from there, from there, it's always 80 millimeters away from B. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing another arc that has an arc length of 70. So once again, set that on our compass, 70 millimeters, and this time I'm going to swing it from A. So from A, swing an arc, and anywhere along that arc is 70 millimeters away from A. So here, 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 and so on, okay? But as we can see, the two arcs cross each other. That now is my top of my triangle, that is point C, okay? So at this point now, very simple, just going to connect that to C there, and then C back to A here. And what you'll notice is if I measure that line there from A to C, well, that should be 70 millimeters. So just to show you there, 70 millimeters, happy with that. And then the line from B to C should be 80 millimeters. And it is, happy with that, okay? So there we go, side length 70 millimeters. And then we had another side length here of 80 millimeters, okay? Uh, that's how you construct a triangle there, given three side lengths, 110, 70, and 80. Now we're going to move on to this one. So once again, first step, what do we do? Identify the biggest one. Side lengths 165 and 85. Largest one is 100. So I'm going to tick that off, and I'm going to construct that first of all. So 100. So there to there. A to B. 100 millimeters baseline okay same method what I'm going to do is using my uh, set square I'm going to set uh, 85 I'll start with 85 this time first there we go and this time I'll do it from A first so 85 from A so somewhere along that arc there anywhere along that arc is going to be my point uh, for the top of it C and that is 85 millimeters away from A Okay, the next one was 65 millimeters. So once again, set that on my compass. 65, this time go to B. And that arc there is 65 millimeters away from B. Now I can locate that as point C. Connect it up. So from C, back to A. And then from C, down to B. There we have it. This line here had a side length of 85, and this line was 65. Okay, nice and easy, guys. It's just a case of following the steps. Now, what we're going to do is we want to move down here to the bottom left, and once again, we have side lengths of 112, 105, and 60. So, in this case, our largest one is 112, so I'm going to take that one off. So, by doing that, Let's make sure I get this right now. <clears throat> I'll actually pull this down a little bit further so you can see it there a little bit better. 
There we go. So 112. And I'm just going to check that because I am measuring off my T square. So that's A, B, and 112. And I'm just going to check that. Yep, yeah, happy with that. And now I have 105 to set on my uh, compass. So 105. So as you can see there, just 105 on the compass. This time I'm going to do it from B. So from B, swing an arc that is 105 millimeters away from B. And now the other one I have is 60. So set 60 on my compass. And this time from A, and where the two arcs cross each other, that is the top point of my triangle, C, A, B, C. Connect that up, and connect that up. Very simple, okay, 60 millimeters, and then this one was 105. And just take these off, have them done. Okay, that is the third one done there, guys. And finally, the last one, uh, side lengths of 70, 70, and 120. So what is our largest one? It is 120. So straight away, drawing that in as my baseline. 120 millimeters. Start here. There we go. So from A to B, 120 millimeters. Just check that once again, just to be sure. And as you can see, there it is, 120. And now what I'm going to do is, I have two side lengths, as we'll notice there, that are the exact same, okay, 70 and 70. So in this case, just get 70 set on your compass. There we go, 70 millimeters. And from B, swing an arc. Okay, and from A, swing an arc of 70 as well. And where the arcs cross each other, that is the top of my triangle, which is called C. Connect that to both corners, or I should say vertices. C connects to A, C connects to B. And what we'll notice there is that that is 70 millimeters. Okay, and this one is 70 millimeters. And tick and tick. But what we'll notice with this triangle, very, very important, is it is a certain type of triangle where two sides are the same length. Therefore, two of the base angles in here are actually the same length. This makes it an isosceles triangle when you have two sides that are the same length as one another. Okay, uh, That's just sur some circle constructions there, guys, uh, that you can be given in an exam when you're uh, actually just asked for the three side lengths. Always, I would advise you to start off with the largest one as your baseline and then using your compass, okay, get the lens for the other two to work out your other side lens, okay. Hope you found that helpful, guys. That is uh, trying the constructions there complete, okay.